Hello everyone, it's Rita here, and um, start my timer. Um, I'm gonna start working on the fall, my next fall journal. Um, I don't know what to name it. I'm using several digital kits um, with it, and um, so yeah, I, I I can't call it anyone's particular name because I'm not using all of their 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 kits. So anyway, um, the first thing before we get started, I had a question on my um, from a su subscriber, uh, Patty. I think this is the paper that you're looking, that you were talking about, this purple paper. And it is from the paper studio Theodosia Square. And it's um, 180 sheets, but, you know, at Hobby Lobby, you can get it half price when they, when they have a paper studio on sale. So yeah, it's a real nice, um, I liked all the, you know, the vintageness. Oh, and there's another page I like to pull that one out. Yeah, I wanted that one. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uses for this. The only thing is, is I wish it wasn't white on the other side, but I will, you know, I can coffee dye that. Okay, so that is, this is a big one. Let me throw it over here. So that's uh, this paper that I'm going to be using a little bit of this. I think I have another page of this in the a book too. Then the other question was about the um, dried flowers. So this is the leaves that I have taken out of my yard and I pressed them with the iron because I didn't have time to wait for them to, to press. I mean, um, they were crinkly, so I had to press them down flat. So I just took and put them between a piece of paper, actually just like this, you know, some uh, of my copy paper, and I just stood there and pressed them. And they turned out pretty darn good. But they are very brittle and you almost have to seal them in something to use them. So I don't know how much, you know, I have to think of things that I could do that. Okay, and then she asked me if I did any flowers. And so in this piece of paper, I took some out from my yard. Um, this is not a very good indication because I just threw them on there and pressed them and they were live or they were fresh uh, flowers. Um, it's kind of funny because these stayed purple, but this one turned um, like a cream color. Um, yeah, they were all this purple color. So I don't know if that meant that it was about ready to fall off or, you know, that it was dying off or what. And then um, some of them I kind of just lost, like this one's barely hooked on there. I got these out. Of, these kind of grow wild. I have no idea what they are. They're in my yard. But they're they're not weeds. They're an actual flower. Then off of my impatience, I took two off of my impatience. And um, the first time I tried this, they came out pretty gushy. Um, you can see the, the uh, dye comes right out of them. So they're really good for like doing an eco dye type thing. But um, they do dry, so um, this I would do on parchment. Actually, I would do all these on parchment paper because they will stick. These stuck, but these didn't. And then, let me see, I had another one, okay. I, I'm trying to think who asked me this. Um, gosh. I can't remember right now. I'm sorry about that. Okay, this was another one that I did the same day I did the leaves. And these were also from my uh, impatience. And um, they're just, I mean, you can actually tell that it's some sort of a flower, you know. And I, I just pressed it. This one, this is how much dye came out of this this one because I had it in parchment paper like this and that's how much dye came out of that one I don't know what I did this one I don't think it worked um, for some reason 
But anyway, um, yeah, and then you've got this paper you can use too for something else. You always make do, but they are brittle. So, anyway, that's to give you guys um, <clears throat> who asked that information. It's easier than trying to find you and, and respond on all the videos, especially with the one that was the, um, well, there it is, the giveaway. I mean, there's just, there was a lot of messages, so I have to hunt them down. Probably after the video, I remember who it was that wanted to know about the pressed flowers. Okay. And then I will keep you updated also on the printer because people are asking about that. Um, so far, so good. It is not the best for printing on, um, let me show you. Oops. Get this out. Well, it prints on regular paper beautifully. This is my parchment paper. Uh, it printed on this vellum, which was sort of a thicker vellum, okay, and let me see what else I had. Uh, this, it printed on this vellum, although that's not very thin. I don't know. It didn't want to do it. It just came right through the printer without even printing, um, but the good thing is it didn't print another page after. You know how you, it doesn't work and then you, it comes out and then they go ahead and print another print of it on the wrong paper. Um, but I did get this to work by, see this little bit of scotch tape up there? I taped it to a, a regular piece of paper, a copy paper. Now, next time I, I will make sure I can put it in a place where it's not going to be visible or I will be cutting off an edge. But it does print nicely, really, on there. And then um, I tried to print. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, those are cute. Let me see those. Okay, I tried to print on sticky paper. What was that piece I had? Mm, I, oh, there it is. So... Um, I printed on sticky paper because I this is one that I had on my computer. And when it printed out the first time, I thought, well, the, the, the print on my computer was not any good. Because I downloaded it from somewhere or copied it and put it on my Word. And, of course, you know, it, the images are not that great. So then there was these lines in there. And I thought, oh, well, that's not good. So then I decided to print one from one of the images from the computer and it did print on it. It didn't like it, but it finally did it. And the, it does have these lines in it. So I don't know. I, I really feel like I needed to get to, um, to slow the printer down. And I tried to put it on gloss, uh, glossy. I put on the printer glossy photo paper I think and it said the wrong paper I mean I don't know how it knows but it does so if you just leave it on plain paper it'll print on all of it um so this was this is the kind of sticker paper because I I love these because they're kind of a neat way to overlay see how it does like that and then you stick it down on top of you know something else or but yeah, I wanted to get some of these purple leaves. I have, there's other ones on this kit, but I did this because I ha had already printed in the middle. I wanted to see if it would print on the outside. Just as a test page. So I have this test page and I'm going to keep working on that. I'm going to keep looking on um, the um, Epson helpline or whatever. It's just hard to find things. I don't want to put those away. I want these. Mm, did I, is that what I want? No, here's the ones I want. 
only this one too. And this one. Okay, and these. Okay, look. So now that that's finished, I can get on with this journal. And um, so I'm trying to think about the cover. Uh, it, I usually try to think about the cover first thing because I want to know where I'm going to go with it. Sometimes I can't figure it out and I just have to wait. But since we made that folio, um, I usually use this anyway. Um, and I cut it to size to fit my um, journal. And um, so I thought I would use this and use this for the spine because I'll probably make two signatures. I don't know that they're going to be very big signatures, but see, I can use this would make a good spine. So what we need to do is cut it down to fit. So um, I got it page here somewhere. There it is. So let's say we want this to fit in here. Okay. So right now I'm only going to worry about this height. So I want it to hang over. Okay, these are the pages that will be going in. This is just my way of thinking about things. I don't know about everybody else, but um, usually I just cut it to size and then I trim it. Um, I, I put my um, sticky paper on it and then trim around it and uh, glue my fabric on. All right, so let's just go out here a little bit. So let's see if that's about the norm. Yeah, that's about almost six. So Yeah. I usually go about six by the time I fill in stuff. This is an eighth of an inch smaller. Okay, and then height is usually about nine ish. So I'm just on the regular size. Okay, so I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to cut this off. I was thinking if I was going to be able to use this tab, but I might not. Unless I do it this way after I. Yeah, let's. Okay. I can still cut it. And if I cut it there. Bear with me, guys. I'm sorry. I thought I, well, either way, I'm going to run into that tab. All right, I'm just going to go nine. So if I go nine that way or go nine this way, it's still going to run into it. Okay. I've never done a cover like this, but after doing the, um, folio I thought it turned out I thought it was great oh, we got some nice cardstock there coffee dyed even all right so this part I am going to fold it in and get my score I don't know how I'm going to do this yet exactly, but okay, screw that side in. Get that flat. I'm sure this is nothing new that somebody else has done this.
Okay, so that's kind of what I want here is these two little side folders because I can use these um, inside as pockets. So I think it would probably look better if I cut this off. I'm going to cut this side off. Um, I probably can't do it straight, so I might as well do it this way. Alright, so that is off. And now... I can do this correctly. Sorry for the noise. I think I can match up this corner. corner that corner would look like that which is the same as that right okay to kind of center it whoops didn't quite get it hmm This corner look like this corner. There's no center line here, so you kind of like have to guess at it. Hmm. I was trying to mimic that, but. Let's try that. That'd be the exact same thing, but close. Okay. Now, these are going to be pockets. So I was thinking about punching, um, hold on, let me see, I could punch a little divot in here, but first I want to cover it with, um, paper. So my plan is to collage on this. Okay, so first I want to put some tape down here because I want this to be uh, nice and sturdy. And I, I'm trying to think, do I want it on the inside? I guess it doesn't matter. I, I know it's three quarters of an inch spine, so I'll just make a template when I get ready to. Um, this is masking tape. You know that... Uh, stuff you get like at Hobby Lobby just you know they have all different colors and that I just bought plain a tan color <laughs> the only problem with this stuff is it's um, it makes your needle sticky Very 
straight, but it doesn't have to be. It might be seen. Okay. I don't know. Do I need another piece inside there? Yeah, maybe I do. So I hope everybody's out there crafting their little hearts away. I um, don't know what life would be like without my... <laughs> oh my goodness, come on. Hold on, it's got st stuck on there. Um without my crafting and it's like okay where did I do it okay it's like um people who have you know have their music and people who have their sports I mean it's so important to have these things that we that we do because just working all the time and just would be pretty sad for people who do that but then again a lot of people like working my husband was pretty much a workaholic he wasn't a workaholic he just liked money <laughs> the more he worked the more money he had okay so now I think I want this to be the front because I want this size pocket and this one can go in the back I don't really like that, but I don't know exactly what to do about it. Um, these are obviously not going to... Well, they could have corners. Yeah, they could. I don't know about that one. All right. So what I'm going to do... Get that black spot out of there. I'm going to collage the whole thing. And I, I'm not gonna ink it like I did in the other uh, one um, because I want, I want all these pieces to wrap over, I think. Um, let's start with some smaller pieces. I'm just wondering, do I need to, them to wrap over so that when I do the inside, there will be a layer? Um, yeah, I think I do. And I'm not going to ink them. Oh, oh I got stuck. So I don't know what this is going to look like, but... Um, the nice thing about it is we can start over and do something else, something different. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. and if it comes up I'll just um... now this is um... this is um, um, um... dictionary paper that I put drops of rust on I kept that rusty water it doesn't even smell like vinegar either so if you want, you could just rust things so that you have this paper. I don't know how to collage. You know, I don't know. I'm trying to think how people do it. How do they? I know Gail goes into the corners first. Maybe I should do that.
kind of um, don't want the pieces to be really, really small. This, um, dictionary page, let's see, um, how am I going to do that? I'm just going to, I don't know, it may not even be square. Maybe I should have cut it after. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about these if they're not symmetrical. Okay, where's that other piece? Put that over here. around this little I don't know how to do this and keep everything out of the way because it's so big. All right, so now let's do some of this. I guess it doesn't matter which one is where it's going to be white because. It's too white on the edge, so I'm going to ink it. I hope this doesn't take forever. I thought it would be kind of fast. I was just going to do it with book pages. to go with it this way. reason I kind of feel like I've done this but I don't know and then one of the uh, my subscribers uh, Patty I believe it was um, she made a revolutionary statement you know when you now that it prints borderless and I'm like well what am I gonna do with all you know I still rip the edges and um, like this and she said well keep them and use them for you know um, putting on envelopes or under something I'm like oh yeah that is a great idea because I'm you know I do save my little strips but I usually put them on uh, cards this paper and this paper is Janie B's nurses um, I just 
love the colors. So I'm using it. Let's see. I guess I'll just go to the edge. There's just. Have a feeling I'm going to end up squaring this off because I just don't, I'm not liking this part. And then put corners on it. This will get glued down because we're going to put the these inside ones up close to the edge but not over the edge okay here's that paper we're done and yeah, we've used that one and put some purple on there Like it needs to be inked. I don't know. I was gonna go back in with my little brush and just get the edges. another Janie B. Um, I'm going to wait. I might find other things to use first. This one is um, this is also hers, but I'm going to wait on that one. This one is This is Digital Hobby Helper, and um, it's, um, I think it's called Fall Basics, so it's just pages. I don't think she has any, it doesn't come with, she may have a kit though, I should go look, for, lab, uh, for um, tags and stuff. Hmm. Oh my paper's ripping like that's weird. Thought maybe I had a different kind of paper. Yeah, that's not parchment, that's something else. Probably when I was trying to do my test drives. Oh, let's see. Of course, that's exactly the same size. I feel like that needs to go over a different page. Or a different section, I should say. Okay, 
So let's see. Let's do something different there. A little different up here. So if this is boring to you, whoops, I completely understand. If you want to come back at the end and <laughs> see, see how it turned out. There's always these little wonky spaces that I end up ripping off and I just have to figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna put this underneath. Got enough glue on this one. So I didn't have to do anything today, so I was kind of excited about that. I just, um, I had a terrible night's sleep. I think it's just that the surgery is on my mind, and yet it's not on my mind. You know what I mean? It's like stupid things are on my mind. Um, probably not even going to see this. It's going to be in the fold. That's right. We're not going to even see this part. Oh, I like this part. Oh, darn. Okay. I'll have to remember that on this side. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, we are. This is going to go this way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Scared me. So this basically is the front, and I shouldn't have folded that before it dried. Okay. Let's see. This is, um... All right, that's Jamie B's too. So let's see what else we can find. Um, I could put a little more of this in now. Like fill in here. Oh, we have this one already cut. It's weird how um, the rusty water. Um, leaves this, you know, really pretty rusty color, uh, but then it kind of leaves like a blackish gray, and it almost looks purple. It's strange. Whoa. But I mean, what, what else goes with fall but rust, right? Although I think this rust is going to go in a lot of journals. It's just unique. And it's sick and it's a neutral, neutral color rust. People don't probably, but when you're doing this kind of um, grungy sort of look journals, then yeah, that's it. I call that a neutral.
speck down there and a little bit here. So let's see. I think this one is, okay, that's going to be on the inside. that matters that that's straight because I'll probably be putting a piece over that. bottle of that school paste we used to use. It tasted so good and it smelled good. Remember I had a little brush in it? You dip it in there and a little paste brush. It was like a little metal handle. Maybe that was too long ago for some of you. I was thinking the other day about all the things that we have now that we would have never imagined, like a microwave, um, stuff like that. All right, let's see. I don't have very much of this in there, so I'm going to get a piece of that over there. I, I do have it going all the way across there, but one is going to be on the back and one on the front. that before I glue this down. Um, the page is a little white. Different section. Make sure I get it over there far enough. I kind of want that leaf to show up there, but I'm, then I, I'm going to end up cutting it off. I can see. So. Okay, this one is going to hang over the edge. So. Five minutes. I don't know how Gail does it. 
scale. How do you do it? Or or Roxy or Tina. I don't I don't know. I mean, it's not like I didn't have most of the stuff ready this time. Of course, I guess maybe I was doing talking about the other stuff, but still. Let's see if I can just cut this off here. I don't know. I feel like... But those are going to go into the inside, so they're not going to be right on the corner. I don't like those at all. But, um, you know, I can just always kind of scoop it up or punch a circle down there, something to fix it. To fix that. All right, so we have this little section up here. And... section down here. Hmm. It doesn't look like a fill-in piece. I think the little paper, this is better for you know, patching, I guess. I think that looks better. Let me ink it up a little bit more. I forgot what I was talking about now. I don't know, what was I talking about? I was talking about Gail. How quick she is. But that wasn't. Hmm. There's a little hunk of that because we need it. All right, so that's fixed. I need a piece down here. What else we have in our put that on there? Something else that some of that up there and some of this down there. Oh, we got a big spot there. All right. Let's... This paper here is, um, pretty sure, vintage by me. Hmm. Oh, good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, I'll have to patch it. It just looked too straight. Everything was so straight. Like this side is straight. Okay. 
Okay. I'll just do that. Just do a little patch in that. So I hope you guys are liking the purple. Um, you know, it's still totally fall. At least I feel like it is. And I, you know, I kind of also feel like it could be used um, in other journal. I mean, it's not like totally, it's not pumpkins and that kind of stuff. You know, apples and hay rides and stuff like that. It's just basically out in the trail, walking along. There was a, on the Facebook, um, I don't want to go this way. I have to collage more with all this paper ripped. Um, they were asking, you know, like, would you like to take a drive and look at fall leaves? Or would you like to be with a book at home in a cozy chair with hot chocolate? And hmm, I can't, what was the other one? Hmm. Oh, sitting outside at a bonfire with marshmallows or whatever. I think that was the chocolate one. I picked the driving. I like to drive. I like to drive, but I can't because my back hurts if I drive far. I mean, over an hour, so I can't do it. So, I always wanted to go up north, um, Vermont or New Hampshire or one of those places in the fall. We have some pretty fall areas here in Georgia, too. It's just taking the time to go see them. I barely made that. Hold on, I don't like that. I'm gonna have to bring this down. I'm going to have to stop the video because I can't let it go too long or it'll never download. So rather than to bore you guys with this even more, I will go ahead and do the inside. And then oh, um, we'll come back and let me just kind of give you a glimpse. A glimpse. I don't want to fold it down too much because I don't want it to get those creases. Okay, so um, that's upside down. Oh, let's go this way. 
where I did the whole thing up. I mean, I wasn't. <laughs> the story of my life. This is all going up the correct way, uh, this way, but it wasn't what I had planned for the envelope, for the pocket. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry um, before I even do the other side. I think that would be the best thing. Get this, um, make sure it's all glued down really well. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. I wish I could have gotten farther, but uh, I didn't. And I will, I don't know, I might do another short video. Um, showing you the, the, what I have in mind. Okay, if I get it finished. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.